Our next guest is touring with the Broadway production Dear Evan Hansen. He's starring uh, in the role of Larry Murphy, Connor's dad, in the show, which will be at Wharton next week, uh, running from May 17th through the 22nd. This is John Hemphill. Hi, John. Oh, hi there. How are you, Bart? I'm nice good. to be here. Good, good to see you. Thanks for uh, being with us uh, today. Absolutely. Uh, John, I found it interesting that you actually, your real job is uh, a theater uh, professor at where, Stevens College? Stevens College, that's right, in Columbia, Missouri. Um, the, the pandemic, we were out on the road with Dear Evan Hansen, and when the, the pandemic hit and we came home, my wife had, she was also a Broadway um, actor and she transitioned to academia. And so we uh, found ourselves at Stevens College and so I started teaching, which was was a, a fantastic thing, and that's something that I'll be able to go back to, and um, it's it's really a, a wonderful uh, wonderful experience. Well, that's got to be a great uh, experience uh, as a teacher to be able to 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 give your students that uh, front row seat um, to to what it's really like to be uh, a Broadway actor. That's one of the the uh, exciting things that I, I do get to do because there's so much that you uh, don't get to uh, learn in, unless you've you've been there and you are doing it. Uh, the day to day um, goings on of tour life, of Broadway life, of Los Angeles life. Um, not only when you're working and, and doing the jobs, but the in, in between when you're trying to survive. You know, and you're trying to get those jobs. So, so that's something that um, is is a highlight for me that I'm able to teach my students at Stevens. So that's a great thing. Yeah. The show is uh, highly anticipated. A lot of people are very excited to to see it, and of course, it's won a lot of awards. But to me, the the role that you have is is not a it's not a typical Broadway kind of uh, musical uh, uh, character. There's it, it sounds like there's a lot of sadness, a lot of a lot of anger, a lot of grief. There's it's a ton of emotions that you're dealing with all throughout the show. You know, it's a, I think it's a very human story. Uh, it's a very human musical. And I think that um, I, I, it is a musical, certainly. Uh, I, I see it as a play with music. Uh, and the music, the wonderful music and lyrics drive the story. Um, it's a it's a story that both parents people my age are able to connect to, uh, as well as young people, um, and and that I find very fulfilling to be able to speak to people after of all ages who have um, who have really taken something from the show. So that that ends up being something that I feel very proud uh, about. Yeah, so, so as a teacher, um, the themes of um, bullying and uh, suicide, is, is the show a, te a teaching moment too, John? Absolutely, absolutely. There's a lot to learn. You know, really, the, the, what is, is most important that I always like to impart, uh, not only do you need to bring a box of tissues, you certainly do, but when you leave the theater, you have a feeling of hope and hopefully a feeling of of understanding, um, and uh, it is certainly something that um, I can connect to uh, as a teacher. Uh, it's hard. It's a hard time for our young people to grow up right now uh, with social media uh, and and the the access to that. Uh, the if there is bullying, it, it doesn't just happen in the schools, in the brick and mortar, it, it, it happens outside of school as well. And that's hard, it's really difficult. And how do we manage that? And how do, and how do young people find their way through that? Um, and so it's, it's, it's not, a, it's not a, um, an age that's going away. It's certainly something that we'll always, will be dealing with from here forward. So, um, and this musical addresses that. It addresses a lot of other issues as well, but that certainly is one that it addresses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, theater students probably get bullied uh, um, more than. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well, we're a very emotional group, you know. We, we we're a sensitive group, and and thank goodness. 
Yeah. <laughs> we, we have a clip from from the show uh, with oh, you that we're going to take a quick look at. Here's John Hemphill and dear Evan Hansen. Another masterful attempt ends with disaster. Things already jammed. Or another cup of coffee. Watch it all crash and burn. Hunter finish the mill. It's a puzzle. It's a maze. I try to steer through it a million ways. The wrong turn. You better head out. If Connor's not ready, I'm leaving without him. Awesome. John, I was doing a little uh, research on uh, your um, background and I saw Mamma Mia at the Winter Garden Theater in New York in 2007. Did I see you? You did not. I joined in 2011. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you jumped the gun a little bit there, Bart, yeah. but... Well, what an awesome, <laughs> awesome theater, uh, and it was an awesome show. I loved it. But you actually were in that show, and your wife was in the show too? Yes. Uh, we, we were able, she covered all three of the leading ladies, and so we were able to be Sam and Donna on the Winter Garden stage uh, as husband and wife and, and talk about a thrill. So that not, not, not all uh, couples get to say they, they were on Broadway <laughs> together. So we're, we feel very lucky. Yeah, you know, the experience for me, one of the things I remember is the uh, the bartenders, they really pushed the cocktails. It was a big part of the <laughs> experience. <laughs> well, you've, you've had a lot of other roles, Broadway, and you've had some TV credits, uh, Billions, House of Cards, Mr. Robot, uh, The Black Blacklist, Boardwalk Empire. How do you have a, a career on stage and, and in Hollywood and, and still, still run a, a theater program at Stevens? college yeah yeah well now is an interesting time too with with um you know the, the pandemic did usher in uh an age of self-tapes uh where before you got a self-tape audition and, and you were hard-pressed to get that job but now they they really take a look at at self-tapes and and so that's some uh, of the way that i can and can stay involved uh in um in the television world um, and thankfully, you know, I've been in New York uh, for about 10 years prior to now, and, and um, the, the television world has really um, grown in New York. So, um, so I'm still able to uh, audition, um, uh, which, is, which is great. I feel fortunate for that. Now, there's a, a movie, Dear Evan Hansen, um, and it's getting different response than, than the Broadway show. Um, have you have you seen the movie? I haven't. I have not. Yeah, I tend when I'm in a, a production, I tend not to want to see other um, versions. If that makes any sense, yeah. yeah. Um, just to try to keep ownership over what I'm doing on the stage. But yeah. Yeah, I, I know a lot of actors. They don't want to see the role um, performed by anyone else. They don't right. want to be tainted <laughs> or influenced. <laughs> right. Or inspired, but you know, some, right, you know. Yeah. You want to be careful. <laughs> and it's with the pandemic, uh, everyone, all, all, every, all you, uh, Broadway, what a, it's been a hit um, to the industry, hasn't it? It really has. Yeah. Um, um, you know, I think that um, this, the show is an incredibly strong show. It's, a, it's incredibly well written. The music is fantastic. Um, this has been a trying time for sure. But I think it's an important story that um, is perfect for this day and age, and I think that's why it's continued to be popular through this through this time. Well, John, this uh, this show is the um, show that I've I've looked forward to the most of um, all the shows at at the Wharton this season. So I can't can't wait to see it, uh, and I'm I'm looking forward to seeing uh, you on stage in the role as uh, Larry Murphy. 
uh, Connor's dad um, next week. Great. Well, I'm very excited to uh, that you're going to see it, and and all all the other folks in East Lansing. We're just we're thrilled to be there. So, thank you so much. Awesome. Well, I know you're in uh, uh, Madison right now. So you have a show mm -hmm. tonight. We have a show tonight. Yeah, we'll do. We do eight shows a week. So we do uh, starting Tuesday night, Tuesday through Friday nights, and then uh, two Saturday, two Sunday. So uh, they keep us busy. But <laughs> and are you a Wisconsin fan? I, I, I'm. To be quite honest, no. I went to the other UW, University of Washington. So I'm a, I'm okay. a Husky. Um, but uh, <laughs> while I'm here, I'll, I'll, you know. But then next week. Come on, definitely a spark. So. I know, I saw, I saw UW on some of your inst Instagram, so I wondered which UW, but now I know. Yeah, Washington, Washington. All right, thanks for being here, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for having me. John Thank Hempel so starting, starring in uh, Dear Evan Hansen. Tickets uh, on sale now at 1-800-WARDEN or wardencenter.com. It's running May 17th through 22nd. Well, that's it. We're all out of time. Thanks to John and uh, all of our guests for being with us here today. Make sure you check out JTV.TV. For all the weekend activities, there's a ton of them. Hopefully we'll uh, get to see you out and about. Enjoy this beautiful weather. Thanks for watching.